words, if I may, and some don't be a few. Uh, it's a, you know, just a almost unspeakable happy occasion uh, this day, the best day ever, and I'm just so happy for my new son. Uh, is he just doesn't know <laughs> how joyful I am to have a son. Thank you, Esther. Thank you, Steve. You know, and, you know, along with all the well wishes, you know, I like to be first in line. Just wishing you well, baby. You know, I love you. That's all. That's all. Any words, Mom? Great job. Give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and if we'd like to bring up the father of the groom to say a few words, uh, let's we'll see, I have the mic over to him. Where is he? There he is, right here. First of all, I'd like to thank all the family and friends that are here today to share this wonderful and beautiful day with my son, my new daughter. This is a wow event, Joe. So proud of you. So proud of you, Chardonnay. This is awesome. Uh, wish you the best of the best. Joseph, I'm so proud of you. I love you both. God bless you. Amen. 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 Okay, so we have open mic. Um, everybody, here's a couple rules about open mic. The mic is off right now, just so I'll let you know. Um, do kind of keep it short and sweet because we want to make sure everybody who wants to talk gets a few minutes. So uh, no 10 minute speeches, just really quick, short and sweet. <laughs> and we'll hand the mic over. Thanks. Hello, everybody. I'm Joseph's brother, Caleb. I want to wish you guys the best of luck in your new journey. I'm so happy and proud of you guys for finding each other and finding finding love and finding the person you can trust and love for the rest of your life with no limits or boundaries. I'm proud of you, Joe. I'm happy for you. And now we're ready for some nephews and nieces. <laughs> anybody else home before. And when she told us that they wanted to meet us in Vegas, I was just so nervous. I just knew they were going to tell us then that either they had gotten married or they were about to get married. But then when we got there and I met this young man, I fell in love. I fell in love because of the way that he talk to my daughter, the way that he supported her, protected her. Everything that he said showed that he honored her. And from the day she was born, when she was a little girl, she's always been a princess. When she sat down in the chair, she, she sat with her legs crossed. She used to sleep with her legs crossed. <laughs> she always was a princess. 
<laughs> and because of the man that God has given her, and I say that God gave him, you know, because for us to be all the way in Alabama and to move all the way here, and for them to be the same person, I'm not talking about two different people. It's almost like they're the same person. And I wish I could really express what's in my heart when I see them, see the love that they share, see the way that they care about one another, and to know the background, their background is the same, the way they love to travel is the same. They took us hiking. They both like hiking. I almost died. But they both like the same things. My heart is just so overjoyed. I remember there was a prophecy spoken over her. Our pastor said the devil would not defile her. And I thought it meant something else. But I've come to realize that God already had a plan for her. And that plan was you, Joe. So like my husband, I thank these people for bringing you into the world for my baby. Much love and, and success. Thank you very much. Do you have anybody else? Uh, can we hand the microphone? Like, we'll hand it back over here. Um, there we go. Just float it over that way. Just kind of pass it along there, pass the baton. Greetings. <laughs> I was under much constraint earlier, but I'm free to be me at this point. And of course, uh, Chardonnay is my other daughter. I remember a story when she was a little girl, they had been asked to wait after ballet. And of course, she and my daughter took out for her maternal, her paternal grandmother's house. And en route, we had to tear the little legs up because it was like November, it was very cold. <laughs> but of course, she's all grown up now. Everybody in the back can see everything. 
And if you do want to walk over and you're on this side, feel free to kind of fill in the dance floor. They're going to cut through cake. And there is a tradition on every wedding ring that never gets missed, so we'll see what happens here. Did you We're taking bets. We put a little note for your granddaughter in there. No, I didn't put that in there. I just ran it, though. Oh. Oh. Charles didn't leave no room. You, it was other pages for you. You can sign in other pages.
we love so strong and so unselfishly. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause for Larry. Anybody hear that UFO go by during the first dance? I heard something. That's all good, though. <laughs> all right, so we're going to have uh, the groom step off to the side, but don't go anywhere. We need the bride to stay center stage because we need the father of the bride to come out and join your lovely daughter on the dance floor.